Hey guys, uh, impromptu Sunday stream, uh, live stream on Ustream.tv. Um, today I'm working in um, Fairies in Dreamland. Uh, it's a Zen Doodle coloring book. And we're working on this page here. And I'm going to shade some flowers. So I'm going to show, um, show you how I do these flowers. I'm using uh, Koei Noor Polycolors which are oil-based pencils. Um, these are a good option, uh, a cheaper option than polychromos. So I highly recommend these um, as a good budget oil pencil. Um, they don't have the light fastness that the polychromos has, but um, they blend well. And as far as I'm concerned for a coloring book, they're fine. So um, if you're doing art, like portraits or commissions, yeah, you don't want to use these. <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm using three colors on the flowers up here. I am using a reddish violet. That's the, the base light color. Then I'm using um, violet is the second color. And then the darkest color is a blue violet. So what I do, let me just check chat real quick before I start. That's what it was. Yeah. You have to have a credit card. All right. I got to turn my light up a little bit, guys. Sorry. I know it's going to wash it out, but I got to see what I'm doing. All right. So what I do is just very lightly go over the entire flower with the lightest color, very lightly. And like I said, if, if you have a heavy hand, like I do, hold your pencil towards the back and you won't, um, you won't press as hard. Yeah, you just do a light, light base. Sorry if you hear my dogs. Okay, then the second color, what I do, and you guys can do it however you want to do it. Um, I start at the top, <clears throat> the top, excuse me, and I just, I flip the dark color down. Just flick it down. And you're gonna you're gonna blend all this anyway, so. And if you do want to add a little bit more pressure, then move your hand closer to the end of the pencil. And then what I do is at the very top where it's gonna be the darkest, I just <clears throat> excuse me, just go in circles. Just where it's gonna be the darkest. You guys can see that. Okay. All right. Then you take, oh no, I'm sorry. Then you take the lightest color again and lightly go over the entire, the entire section of the flower. Lots of layers, guys. This is part of why it takes me so long to do what I'm doing. It's a very light. And if you're getting into really fine areas, you do want to hold your pencil closer towards the pencil tip. Um, gives you better control of the pencil. Doesn't mean you have to press hard, but you have better control. Okay, now you're going to take your darkest pencil, which is the blue violet, uh, Koei Noor, and I'm going to start at the very top again and flick down. And with images this font, this detailed, you want to make sure your pencils are pretty sharp, guys. Because if not, they're going to go outside the line. Okay, let me show that to you. So that gives you a good idea. All right, that's your darkest color. And then I take the lightest color again, the reddish violet, 
and I just go over the whole thing now. And this time I'm pressing a little bit harder because I want to fill in any white space. And this kind of gives it a, you know, that faded from dark to light look. And if there's some spots at the top that look that don't look dark enough, and you can flick, I, sometimes I'll flick the light color from the bottom up so that it blends in with the dark color. But again, it's it's personal preference. This is just how how I do it. And if there are some spots at the top which aren't dark enough. And I just use little swirly motions towards the top part and then lightly move it down a little bit. Okay. So yeah. I'm just going back over with the light color again just to fill it in. Alright, so there's your purple flower with a little bit of a gradient from the light to the dark. So that's how I do my flowers. Now these down here, the orange ones, I did the same way. I started with yellow. I did the entire flower in yellow and then I went over everything except for the the middle part right here that's yellow. Everything else over um, went over it with a uh, regular orange color and then the bottom I did a dark vermilion color which is a dark orange um, and then covered everything with yellow and then on the very bottom leaves, I did a very light colored red, um, just to show the contrast of a little bit more color around the outside of the roses. And then at the very end, I colored everything again with, with the yellow. So, yeah. Yeah, blending, <laughs> blending takes time and it does take a lot of practice I will tell you that um, so it, it definitely takes <laughs> takes time which like I said I've gotten lazy with my neos because I can color a whole page in neos and to me that's quote unquote done mm -hmm. so yeah hey DRD how are you so yeah now I'll shade the flowers down here, but like these little teeny tiny areas in here, I'm not going to shade those. Those are going to be flat colors because they're, it's a pattern. Um, it's going to be hard to, to shade those if you know what I mean. So yes. All right. So now I'm working on the inside of the leaves down at the bottom. I've already done the outside with the dark green. Now I'm going to use the light green. Um, I'm going to use a really light green just to throw a little bit of a contrast. This one is a Koinor Bice, Bice, B I C E green. Yeah, but these are great. These pencils, I've never had the, the lid break, I've never had any of the, I never had any of the chipping around the, you know, around the wood casing. It's awesome. So because these areas are so small, what I'm doing is I'm just doing different shades of different colors. So I'm doing a dark green on the outside, a light green, and then I don't know what these little dots in here are going to be. I have no idea yet. If it was a larger area, sure, I'd shade it, but 
this is teeny tiny area. So yeah, just a kind of a lazy Sunday. I mean, I did, I washed my car today, but um, other than that, I think we're going to grill out some steaks tonight. And hopefully, uh, hopefully just chill out. Oh, and I always keep a piece of card stock behind my page, guys. I highly recommend that so you don't indent on the next page. I've done that many times. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye, bookworm. Yeah, Neos, Neos are good. Um, I've got the set of 84, which I'm fortunate that I was able to get those. So. Oh, yay, DRD. Yeah, you're going to love the Neos, I'll tell you what. And they'll last forever. And I like the fact that... Um, you can replace them individually because me I like having um, backgrounds so like for example this page here like the whole background is it's pretty open up here um, just me but I would use a neon a neo 2 like a crayon and just color everywhere that I want to have a background and then just use my water brush and have make it have that model look. But that's me. I know a lot of people don't like to use their Neo 2s that way. Um, but if I can replace them individually, I you know. I mean that's what they're there for is to use them, right? So. All right. So that was the buy screen on the light. Now I'm going to do the dark dark color which is uh, dark dark green oh I need to sharpen this one a little bit you like my sexy uh, sexy shaving solder here my little Tupperware <laughs> oh, I was gonna use a ceramic ashtray but um, I'm scared I'm gonna break it I figured it'd be better to go with Tupperware. And that works fine because I've got a trash can right next to me. I can just dump that whenever whenever it gets full. So yep, yeah, just just coloring. Probably kind of boring. Sorry if it is. But this is this is what makes me happy and makes me relaxed since I do have some some anxiety issues. But I did do really well. I was impressed. Yesterday I went to go see my nephew who's 14 and he wrote, uh, well, the entire eighth grade wrote a play, but he was on the play production committee. Um, and he had a big hand in writing and directing the play. So we went and saw the play yesterday. And it was awesome, guys. It was great. But I don't do well in a room full of people. I get really, really anxious um, to the point where I usually have to leave if I can't see a way out. And in a, in a dark theater, you're not, there wasn't a way out except for going back up the, the aisle. Um, but we were fortunate. We were on a row by ourselves, me and my mom and my husband. And there wasn't anybody else really around us, which was good. But yeah, the play was awesome. And I, I was able to enjoy it and not feel, not feel too, you know, not feel too anxious. 
All right, I always use um, just a regular paintbrush just to get extra stuff off. It's better than using your hand because since your hand has oil on it, it can smear. Um, it can smear the the leftover pencil. So yeah, it was great. It was a great play. He did a great job. So, all right. So now I have to figure out what's gonna go. I know you guys probably can't see because it's so little, but there are little dots inside each of these leaves. You guys can see that. So. You pet your neos. Am I reading that right? Is that is that what you just said, Jennifer? <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, are you coloring in Colin Thompson? I just showed that DRD. There's my Colin Thompson. I've been working on the the left side of the page. I've gotten this this section down pretty much done pretty much now i'm working on the the second section so yeah yep oh good tammy yeah it, it really does help for me to sit here and color because my mind focuses on this and nothing else. And I usually sit and listen to either classical music or, um, you know, like relaxation music. So, yeah. Yeah, I freak out around a lot of people. It's, sh it's a shame because there are a lot of things I miss out on because of that. Um, I had to pet my World of Warcraft book when it came. I have that book too, Lynn. It's great. You're weird. Those books are taking you forever. Which ones, Carrie Ann? I'm trying to think of what color I want to do. The inside of these. I think I'm going to be bold and try a weird color green. This is called pea green. Working on the left side of mine as well. One section at a time. Yep, that's what I'm doing. One section at a time. Usually what I do is I either put a wash of Neo 2s over a section and then color it or um, watercolor. Let's see, this is a pretty color. It's like a, it's got a little bit of an aqua kind of tint to the green, but it's pretty. I'll show it to you in a minute. So does anybody else have this book, Fairies in Dreamland? I know a couple of people had said that they wanted to get it. I didn't know if anybody actually got it. I know Orla's gonna get it. Um, I didn't know if anybody else had this book. So much stuff on my desk, guys. So much stuff on my desk. And I'm just doing, like I said, I'm just doing flat coloring in these little teeny tiny little areas because there's no way I'm going to be able to shade those. And I, I honestly, I don't want to. <laughs> A larger area, sure. 
But sometimes flat coloring, I mean, sometimes it ends up looking really nice, to be honest. Depending on what it is. There are lots of people that do flat coloring and, man, talented stuff. But see, for, for the, these little teeny tiny areas, I'm like right up on the tip of the pencil with my hand. Oh, you know, Laura, you can just turn the camera on and color and not record when you want to put classical on. We can join you. I have no problem with that, Orla. I haven't colored in my WoW book yet, Lynn. Oh, I was going to get that Walking Dead book, Tammy. I haven't. I was going to. Ange doesn't have this book. Yeah, the Johanna book. It's hard. It is hard to scan because... Most of these books, like this book is a 10 by 10. All of Johanna Basford's books are 10 by 10. Um, hold on guys, my mom's calling me, sorry. Hold on. Mommy? Hi. Hi. I don't, but thanks for asking. No, I'm actually streaming right now. No, you're fine, love you too, bye. She wanted to know if I wanted to ride to the grocery store with her. Um, she's got a, a Volkswagen convertible, so she likes to <laughs> she likes to ride with the top down. And she lives right around the corner from me. So going to the grocery store is a big deal out here because it, it takes a little while to get there. So you usually make a trip of it. All right, so I went with a kind of a different color green. Yeah, I have the, um, Tammy, I have the big, um, oh my gosh, I forgot what it's called. All right, hold on, now I have to go get it, hold on. is what I have. I have the uh, Compendium 1, which is massive, guys. Can you see how thick that is? <laughs> and that's, I mean, literally, I'm, I'm only that far into it. But yeah, I got this because um, I love the show too. But um, yeah, I have that. And it's, it's very cool. Um, it's, it's black and white. And it's it's a graphic novel, is what it is. And it's on really pretty, shiny paper. Pet the paper. <laughs> but yeah, it's great. It does have a lot of um, graphic, you know, language and violence and sex. But, you know, it's The Walking Dead. How could, how could you not, you know? <laughs> get, get you some chocolate when you go. Um, oh, have you not seen it, Orla? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me find it. Let me find it. I've got it in here somewhere. Somewhere. I did order it. Right? Didn't I? Oh, see, now I'm going to get upset. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. 
Yes, there's a World of Warcraft coloring book. Here it is. Oh, sorry, Tammy. So yeah, and it's it's nice. It's the paper's kind of thin, but you know, it's not too too thin. But it's cool. It's got your it's got your orcs and your bad guys, and yeah, I have not colored in this one either. This one this one's a little intimidating as well. Um, yeah. I probably need it. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, here you go. Hold on, Timmy. That's, this is what I was showing earlier. Let me zoom out so you can see it. Alright, so this is called the Walking Dead Com Compendium 1. And there, I think there are like four or five of these. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so, but like I said, I mean, it's thick. And it's heavy. Um, I mean, this book was $60 at Barnes & Noble. I got it as a gift. I got it as a gift, guys. Um, but yeah, this is what I was showing you, Tammy. And it's the awesome shiny slick paper. It's awesome. Love it. Love it, love it. And I've only gotten through um, that far. I marked it. So, yeah. Expensive. Oh, no. I don't hate you. There are some people that, that like this stuff and some people that don't. No big deal. To each their own. Yeah, I know, Tammy. Um, I, I wasn't going to tell that to the person that gave it to me. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's to each their own. Um, same with the World of Warcraft. This is the World of Warcraft book. Um, some people like it. I, I like it. It's got um, real pretty... Um, colored pages in the front. Uh, the glare is really bad. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so I do like this just because I, I've, I've played the video game and, and I appreciate I appreciate this. So, yeah, but it's it's very colorful. Very colorful. Have you really, Tammy? Yeah, we're, we're not going to get into that. I, I won't talk about that on the recording. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to stop this recording because this recording was only... I just wanted to show you guys how to do the flowers in here. So let me stop this recording, and I'll start another one if we start another project. So thanks for watching, and I'm sure I'll see you again really soon.